Hello, it is Molly with Bridget's Grove and 30 Days of Goddess with a brief flip through of my finished Spring Magic mini prayer book. I like making these as a seasonal offering for our Goddess Magic community on Patreon, which is patreon.com slash Bridget's Grove. And uh, these, I have a different how-to video about how to print and assemble one of the books. So this one's just a flip through of a finished thing. This, I sewed it and used a watercolor book note card that I had. I used one of our Blooming and Blessing Mandala stickers on the back, which is technically for the summer solstice, but I used it on this one because I had it handy. And then I printed my into whoops, I printed my interior pages on faux watercolor paper as well because I like the color. I don't have a color printer and I like adding color via using colored paper. I reinforced the inner covers with pieces cut out of a calendar, an old calendar. And then added a pocket to the back with some stickers and prayer cards in it. I hadn't put this in here yet, but I'm probably going to add that to my pocket as well. I kind of like to have little things to pull out for inspiration. Oops, well maybe I'm not going to put it in there because it's not going. <laughs> okay. I ha got a lot of new stickers lately, so I use the stickers. Oh my goodness, ha <laughs> I covered, colored half the moon and then stopped. That is funny. I had, I've been tearing up a copy, a proof copy that I had edited of my Whole and Holy Prayer book. So I've just been tearing up that extra book and using some pieces from it. Colors, new stickers. This one's stickers feature heavily in this one because I was having so much fun with the new stickers that I got. Sometimes I do these center mandalas with a little prayer card in each corner or a mini goddess in each corner. And this time I decided not to. I just colored it and then used the stickers. So I was a little, definitely went a little sticker happy here. Colored that mandala. Didn't color that. I might go back and do it or I might not. One of the things that I remind people of is, you know, it can be done when you're done. You don't have to feel pressured to go backwards or fix it. It kind of is what it is and it becomes its own little encapsulation of the magic of the season, regardless of whether you did exactly what you thought you were going to do with it or not. And, you know, I do encourage people to, I probably will go back and color that because it's going to bug me a little bit. And I'm going to finish that moon in the front as well. But some people want to uh, add additional words or fold outs. I've done these books in different ways where they have little pockets or they have little tags tucked in, etc. And this one, I was just really feeling like adding my stickers and coloring stuff and calling it good. And I feel really pleased with it. The center page, page in particular makes me feel happy and is bright and colorful. So that's what I've got with that one. Thanks for watching.